All right, Hazeman here. I just want to go over uh, how it, this thing is set up initially. So it is it is brand new, okay? I've never fired it up yet, and this is what it looks like when it first starts up, okay? Wow, the voltage is already starting to go down. Okay, so these are all the settings. Uh, when you start it up initially, here it says your battery voltage, all right? That's about right, 27 volts. And then this is the, out, the inverter output right here, if it's outputting anything. And then here you've got like a status right here. Uh, right now, it's showing SLA, okay, sealed, sealed lead acid. That's not right. It's supposed to be like a user, a custom, well, we're supposed to use a custom battery. Um, there is a lithium uh, lithium battery setup, but it's for the Growlot lithium battery, all right? They sell like a smart battery that connects to this thing. Um, that's, for, that's what that's for, okay? So uh, you need to use a custom setting, okay? So you need to set your voltage limits and all that pretty much. All right, so you kind of have to know what you're doing. <laughs> so, and then here, there's a, there's an arrow that goes to the inverter. It says AC DC here, or DC to AC, and then it goes utility first. Okay, so I'm thinking it's set up so the utility works first. Uh, actually, before this, let's go. One thing I forgot to connect. All right, so we need to make one more connection. We need to connect this guy. All right, so this is the uh, this is the AC. This is the AC input for the uh, for the inverter. All right, so we need to go connect this bad boy to the outlet. Okay, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna connect it down here. Hopefully, it doesn't blow up when I connect it. Okay. Okay, so there it just beeped. It beeped, and it's showing. Uh, Oh, okay. There we go. So now there's an AC input. All right. So now it's also it now it's just it's running off the power from the grid now. Okay. It's not the battery's not even connected. All right. I think it says it's charging the battery too. Uh, yeah. Let's not charge the battery yet. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's charging right now. It's just positive. All right. No. Let's not do that. Let's disconnect this. <laughs> Okay, no. The 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 um the inverter is not set up yet, okay? So we cannot do that. So right now what it just tried to do is it tried to it started charging the battery, okay? I have not set up the battery for this yet, okay? So um when the first time you fire this bad boy up, don't connect that, okay? <laughs> don't connect grid power yet, all right? So after you set everything up, then you can connect grid power. I think what it was trying to do was charge the battery, okay? So all right, so yeah, I'm gonna go set this bad boy up, um, but now it's it's back to battery power. All right, and then you got this blinking AC inverter, you got a charger, and then there's a fault light. But it looks like everything looks good so far. All right, so I'm gonna go set this bad boy up, uh, so so it works properly with this battery. Okay, um, so so right now I think it's prioritizing using the grid power. Okay, but you I want it to the way I want to set it up is we want to prioritize. For solar power, then the battery, and then the grid, okay? So once the battery runs out, it connects to the grid, all right? All right, here's me up. All right, so Hazemig is going to show you how we set this up. So like I said, I set this up how uh, Will Prowse had the settings on his website, all right? Um, and I'm just going to kind of briefly go over, I'm going to go over how to change the settings, and then I'm going to go over the settings I put in, okay? So here we go. And I'm, I'm getting this stuff from the manuals. The, uh, there's something missing in the manual, though. There's like no 28, all right? Okay, so after pressing and holding the enter button for three seconds, you can go into the setup mode. So you hit the enter button right here. Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, so we're going to press this for three seconds, and it goes in the setup mode, okay? And it has that annoying beep. All right, um, so uh, to change the setting, you just hit enter. Okay, oh, we gotta hit enter longer, <laughs> longer than that, all right? And then the other side blinks, okay? And then you can change your settings. You use the up and the down arrows to change the settings, okay? So right now it's set to SBU. So I can set it to solar and utility, okay? I will go, I will kind of go over what all this means, but I'll just go over the settings real quick, okay? 
Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. When I go through the settings, I'm gonna put a reason why that was set that way, okay? What it does, okay? I'm by, by, I'm gonna, I'm reading the manual, okay? But I, I'm going off of the settings that I put in there, okay? So, um, it's set to SBU right now, okay? If I wanted to change that, I can hit the up or down arrow and it'll change it. So right there, that's utility. And then that's solar first. Okay, so this, I have it set to SBU for number one, okay? And, and I'm getting this from the manual, okay? Um, uh, SBU means solar energy provides power to the loads as first priority. If solar energy is not sufficient to power all connected loads, the battery energy will supply to the loads at the same time. Utility provides power to the loads only when battery voltage drops to either low level warning voltage or a setting point in program 12, okay? Oh, I might have to look that look that up. So. <laughs> okay, so th so what that means is it pr prioritizes um, using solar power first, then the battery, then the utility. Okay, so um, once once uh, if there's not enough sufficient solar power, it goes to the battery. All right, if there's not enough sufficient battery voltage, it goes to the grid. Okay, and hit enter, and that locks it in. Okay, we go to the next one. Uh, maximum charging current. Uh, so this is the maximum charging current that that the um, that you'll charge the battery with from solar. I, I, I guess 80 amps is the maximum. Oh no, no, one, 140 amps is the maximum. Okay, the default is 60, so I put it at 80. Um, I don't know for whatever reason I wanted to put it. I put it because the the manual says 80 right here. <laughs> okay, that, the default is 60. I put it at 80. This battery could be charged at 280 amp hours. Okay, that's one C. Okay, 280 amps is what it can handle. So it can handle a lot. Maybe I should bump it up more than that. All right, but I'm just gonna go with 80 for now. Okay, that's a lot of current. Um, okay, the third. Oops. Okay, we gotta get out of this. Okay, we, uh, so when you want to go to the next setting, you gotta make sure you hit the enter button, and then you go back to the right side blinking. Okay, when the right side is blinking, you can move to the next section. Okay, so the next section is AC input voltage. All right, so this one I is a APL three. Okay, that's the one I got from Well Process website. Um, if selected, acceptable AC input voltage will be within 290 to 280 volt volts. Okay. And I only put that because that's what will prosper. All right. So we're going to go to four. Okay, four is a power saving mode. Okay, basically the power saving mode is is uh, disabled. If you if if there's loads that need to be powered all the time, then then it will then you should uh then you should disable. Power saving mode, okay. So power, what power saving mode is it? Uh, it saves power, <laughs> okay. It it like kind of goes to sleep, okay. If if it's on, so it doesn't drain your battery type of thing, okay. But if you need, if you have loads that need to be powered all the time, that like like my garage, you you need you should turn it off. So it is disabled right now. So SDS is disabled, okay. If if we go to the other option. It's SEN, that would be savings mode is enabled, all right? So we want it to be SDS. Okay, so you guys are kind of getting the hang of it. All right, I'm just going to kind of go through this a little quicker. So this is battery type number five. Number five is uh, should be user defined if you're using your uh, a custom a DIY battery, okay? Or, or AGM or flooded, okay? It depends on the battery you're using, but I'm using lithium iron phosphate batteries. Okay, so use... It's user defined, all right. So that means you're gonna set the, you're gonna set the voltages and stuff, and on all the charger stuff, you're gonna set everything yourself, okay. So we're gonna go to the next setting. Uh, number six is auto restart when overload occurs. So this one was default, all right. Um, LTD is default, all right. That's what I put for seven. Uh, I put uh, D, okay. This would be disabled. Uh, this is auto restart when, when over temperature occurs and you do it so i guess it's if it if it overheats it's going to uh it's go, it's not going to turn back on <laughs> okay um the next setting is output voltage that's 120 volts all right uh number nine is uh the output frequency 60 hertz okay 
And then this one, I am not sure. Okay, number 10, it says number of series batteries connected. Okay, and it says two here. All right, and uh, since I have an 8S system, do I put eight? I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't, it doesn't really say um, on, the, on the forum, it didn't really say what to put. So I'm just gonna leave it at four. All right, no, I'm gonna leave it at two. I'm gonna leave it at two right now, okay? Um, Okay, so maximum utility charging current. Okay, so I guess this is when, uh, uh, when if you're going to be charging from from the grid, your battery, which we won't be doing. Uh, so I don't even know why we have to change change the setting. <laughs> um, it's 40 amps. Okay, it it was uh, default was 30, but uh, in the forum it's uh, it mentioned 40 amps. Okay. Uh, 12 is uh, setting voltage point back to utility source. So 20, uh, 23 volts was recommended. So so when the battery voltage reaches 23 volts, it goes it, it switches to the utility power. Okay, pretty much it says, hey, your battery is depleted. I'm gonna we're gonna switch to grid power to power everything up. Okay. Um, number 13 is setting voltage point back to battery mode. Uh, so when when the battery charges back up to 24.5 volts, it will go back to it will go start drawing power from the battery. Okay, that's what that is. All right, and that's what that's what we had set up. I think default was at 27 volts. So like when it's pretty much fully charged. Huh? Okay, I don't know, but that's what that's what Will Prowse recommends. So that's what I'm gonna put. All right, okay, and this one is OSO. Uh, this is charge source charger source priority to configure charger source priority all right so uh and it's it's set to only solar that's what this means only solar uh solar energy will be the only charger source no matter utility is available or not okay so that means it's just going to charge from solar it's not going to charge from the grid okay alarm control oh it says alarm control should be off this should see this is off b o f okay i think the default is on Okay, 16. 16 is backlight control. Uh, back, uh, L on. So this means it's on. It's the backlight, I guess. Uh, 17 is beeps while primary source is interrupted, and it says alarm off. So AOF means alarm off. Okay. Um, overload bypass when enabled. Uh, the unit will transfer to line mode if overload occurs in battery mode. Okay, so I guess I don't know if the if the battery gets overloaded, it will uh, it'll transfer to grid power. Um, so that is enabled. Okay. Okay, so here's the here's the kind of the important stuff. Bulk charging voltage is 28.8 volts. All right, uh, for for the lithium iron phosphate batteries. All right, that's the one I got from the forum. Okay, float charging voltage is 27 volts, so I set that to 27. Default is 27. Okay. 21. Uh, 21 is low DC cutoff voltage, all right? Uh, so in the forum, the note was set higher than BMS voltage disconnect, okay? So you want to set it, you want this to... Uh, to cut off the DC voltage when uh, before the the BMS does okay so I don't know man the 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 Dali BMS says it cuts off at 2.2 volts per cell okay so uh, at 17 that and, and that times 8 that's 17.6 volts <laughs> that's, that's not a lot of volts I'm pretty sure the battery's gonna be like not happy but uh but anyway I left this at 21 volts okay uh, default was 21 volts, so I left it at 21 volts. That's much higher than the than the BMS uh, uh, low voltage cutoff. Okay. Okay, 22. 22 is solar power balance. When enabled, solar input will be automatically adjusted according to connected load power. Okay, I didn't do anything for this. I just have it connected. I have it set to SBE, whatever the default was. If selected, solar input power will be automatically adjusted according to the following formula. Max input solar power equals max battery charging power, blah, 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 okay. Yeah. 
So he didn't specify anything, so I'm not gonna put anything. <laughs> uh, so I guess if you if you enable the next setting, uh, there's a 23 setting, but there isn't. So so it just skips all the way to to 24 already. Okay. Uh, oh no, I think 23 is if you have more than one. If you have more than one inverter, um, that's yeah yeah that's what that's for. Okay, that's that sets the the AC output mode. Okay, but since we're we're just running single phase 120 volts then uh, then it, you don't have that option, okay? So um, if you have another inverter hooked up, you'll have a 23, okay, but we don't. All right, and then 24 is a neutral, uh, allow neutral and grounding of AC output is connected together. Uh, I think that's like a neutral bonding thing. Uh, what is it set to? D, D, L, S, neutral and ground of AC output is disconnected. Okay, yeah. So I think that means that the 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 neutral and the ground aren't bonded. Okay, you can set that. Okay, and the next one is 28. I don't know what 28 is. Okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what setting 28 is. I'm gonna go kind of look up some stuff here, but yeah. So, and that concludes uh, this. Oh, there's a 43 also. I don't know what this. Uh, what all? What is all this extra stuff here, man? This stuff isn't in the book. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm not going to mess around with any of this stuff. Uh, Whatever is not in the book, I'm not, I don't know why that, that's in there. This is something to do with temperatures, all right? No, no, this is voltage. This one has a voltage thing. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of settings in here. 48. And then it goes turns it around, okay? So I think that's good. And then you hit escape when you're done. Escape. All right, and then it goes back out to the right, the main screen, okay? Um, all right, so I think when I get everything up and running, I will shoot another video and I'll show you like how this whole, the whole gauge cluster works, okay? Um, so if you hit the up and the down button, it shows you, uh, it, it toggles through different settings. So, so right here, it tells you your battery voltage and your battery amps. Um, I don't think we're drawing anything right now, so um, that's the load in watts. Um, that's the volts. Uh, there's a load at zero point. I guess I guess that's a that's like standby um, output is. So this shows you the her, how many hertz you're outputting, how many volts you're outputting, and then uh, this is the battery. It's this PV battery. I think that's if you're charging the if you're charging the battery with solar panels. Okay. There's the AC and yeah AC and uh, PV. All right, but they're not it's not charging at all right now. Okay. Um, there's PV input. Um, I don't think I, it's 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 like four o'clock in the morning right now. The sun is not up. We're not getting any voltage. So if I connect the PV input, I get nothing. Okay. So hopefully we do, hopefully we do get something when when the um, the sun comes up, <laughs> okay? But right now there's no sun, so um, and then back it's battery battery amps PV, okay? So I think uh, yeah, and you can just kind of play around with that. And the beep is really annoying. Okay, yeah, so that's uh, that's all the different stuff you can view. All right, all right, so there you go. That uh, That is uh, Hades Omega's initial setup for the GrowWatt 24 volt inverter, all right? Uh, for 48 volt, I imagine you wanna put 48 volt settings in, okay? I will have the website that I got the settings for, that, um, for this out of, okay? And uh, so there's a bunch of other settings that are not in the book and they're not in the website. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with those. I didn't touch them. Okay. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this will be fine. Okay. I, I will try to find a upper and lower limits that are, that's very conservative. Okay. But I just went with the settings that Will Prowse put on his website. Okay. I will put a link to that website in the description of this uh, video. Okay. So that's the, that's my, that is my initial setup for this guy. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna go fire everything up, and and see how how it works. So we'll we'll check the 
we'll see if we can charge the battery with PV power, um, and then we'll see if we can uh, we can power loads and stuff. Okay. All right. Here's Mike out. Um, yeah. All right. Here's Mike here. I wanted to make a quick note about the uh, the settings on the on the inverter for the charger and stuff for the battery. Um, one good thing is uh, we have a BMS, okay? So if we have a BMS, then that means uh, that means even if we messed up the settings here, like we overcharge the battery or we over discharge the battery, the BMS will protect it, hopefully, okay? So like it's it's not super critical that you uh, it's not super critical that you um, what is it um, you you can get the settings right you know but and you you have the bms there to protect it but obviously yeah you want to fine tune it you want to get it you know you want to get it into the values where the bms will not um will not have to intervene have to cut off power okay okay um but i think it'll be fine that's why you, that's why you got the bms there it's there to protect your battery okay so don't get, I wouldn't get too scared about like, it's putting in the wrong setting, sort of, kind of. <laughs> That's what I'd say, okay? Anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick note about that. Right, here's me out.